Nutrition prevents Alzheimer's disease, the top 10 preventive strategies. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, only about 2% of Alzheimer's disease cases show a genetic link. The rest of it seems to be coming from faulty dietary and lifestyle factors, as well as the aging process of the brain. The good news is that it looks like a lot of Alzheimer's disease can be prevented through better diet, supplementation practices, and also better lifestyle behaviors. So what's the top 10 list in this category? Well, number one, you need to have a, a very low blood cholesterol level, below 3.9 millimoles per liter, which is below 150 milligrams per deciliter. How do you do that? By having a low animal fat diet, eating very few trans fats and hydrogenated fats and no organ meats, or any foods that are high in cholesterol, including egg yolks. Those are the foods that cause cholesterol to rise. When cholesterol is high, it clogs arteries in the brain, which diminishes blood flow to the brain cells, and that's how you get into trouble. Number two, you want to have a blood sugar level that's below five millimoles per liter, which is 90 milligrams per deciliter. When blood sugar rises, insulin also rises, and people are prone to what's called type three diabetes, which involves a type of Alzheimer's disease. Step three, you need to be at your ideal body weight. People who are overweight tend to have higher blood sugar and higher insulin levels, which leads to type three diabetes, which is a form of Alzheimer's. People who are overweight have a much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease for that reason. Step four, you take a high potency, multiple vitamin and mineral that has a B50 complex, uh, because B50, certain B vitamins have been shown to slow down the shrinking of the brain as we get older, and only through supplementation can you get high enough doses. A thousand IUs of vitamin D. Vitamin D has been shown to decrease risk of Alzheimer's disease. And it has to be antioxidant enriched with enough vitamin E and vitamin C to block free radicals. Studies show that vitamin E slows down free radical damage to the brain and vitamin E and C are linked to decreased Alzheimer's as people get older in some studies. And vitamin E supplements have been shown to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease in people that already have the disease. So a high potency multivitamin with a B50 complex, a thousand IUs of vitamin D, and it's antioxidant enriched with vitamin C and vitamin E and other antioxidants, that's step number four. Step five, a supplement that contains the right essential fatty acids, fish oil with flaxseed oil with borage seed oil. You need to get enough of those essential oils. They decrease brain inflammation, they improve circulation to the brain, they improve nerve conduction in the brain, and some of the omega-3 fats have been shown to even block the buildup of amyloid plaque that is linked to Alzheimer's disease. People that have higher intakes of those essential fats have been shown to have a lower likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease in certain population studies. So that's step five. Step six, after age 40, consider taking a supplement with some melatonin. Why? Because uh, we see that melatonin has been shown to, to inhibit the progression from mild cognitive impairment to Alzheimer's disease. And mild cognitive impairment is actually the prelude to developing Alzheimer's disease. People that have mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease have low brain levels and blood levels of melatonin. In the aging process, melatonin naturally drops. Might be one of the reasons why we get Alzheimer's as we get older. So after age 40, I would suggest taking a supplement that has some melatonin with 5-HTP and GABA and Bacopa Monieri. It's all explained in the article below, but that combination is excellent to help you get a good night's sleep if you take the right dosage. After age 55, because the brain chemical called acetylcholine, which is the memory chemical, starts to drop down, you need to get it back up again. Otherwise, you will start to lose memory. There are no drugs that can increase the synthesis of that neurotransmitter, which is the memory chemical acetylcholine. Only supplements can do that. You need the combination of CDP choline with phosphatidylserine with Bacopa monieri and Huperzine A. Those things have all been proven to raise brain levels of acetylcholine and help improve memory consolidation. Until you're 55, you probably don't need it, but after age 55, it's mandatory. Step eight, you have to avoid things that, are gonna, that we know will damage the brain. Drinking alcohol damages the brain. Alcohol kills brain cells. Even just three alcoholic drinks a day is linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Smoking, we know damages the brain. People who smoke, a greater likelihood of Alzheimer's disease. And recreational drugs damage the brain, even things like marijuana. 
and even certain prescription drugs. You have to be careful with some of them. Number nine, keep your brain active. As you get older, you have to get the brain to do things it wasn't doing before. Learn a new language, take dance lessons, take music lessons, play a musical instrument, play ping pong, mind-body activities, where you're, you're developing new nerve circuits as you get older. And finally, step 10, throughout your lifetime, you have to avoid head injuries. So that means wearing a helmet when you're cycling or skiing or rollerblading and trying to avoid high-risk activities where there's a chance you're going to have a head injury. People with head injuries, a greater likelihood there's going to be dementia and, and brain disorders as they get older, including uh, Alzheimer's. So to learn the exact details of how to do this you know, precisely, then click on the link below and read my review article. It's really your only chance to prevent Alzheimer's disease. There are no drugs that work to prevent the disease and the drugs we have don't really manage the disease very well. So the idea is to prevent it. We know only 2% is genetic. There's a lot you can do to help protect your brain from future onset of dementia and Alzheimer's and, and age-related memory loss. So click on the link and take a look. Now machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers and uh, footage from my live professional seminars, uh, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.